Calculating the viscosity of a gas mixture. A natural gas mixture consists of three components, methane, ethane, and propane. Their move fractions and viscosities at the particular temperatures are indicated below. Now we are asked to calculate the viscosity of the gas mixture. So what we are going to do, the way to do that is that we are going to form a table. Now we have we have component table, which is C1, C2, C3. Now we have the mole fraction to be our Y. And the most fraction for C1 is 0 0.90. The mole fraction for C2 is 0 0.08. The mole fraction for C3 is 0 0.02. Now let's impute the molecular weight. So the molecular weight for Methane is 16.04. The molecular weight for for ethane is 13.08. For propane is 44. Now, the square root of the molecular weight. Now, let's look at the square root of molecular weight of methane. You have 16. Point, the square root of 16.04. That will give us. Uh, 4.00 the square root of 13.07 that will give us what 5.48 the square root of 44.10 will give us 6.64 in two days now, please. So now, we now have the value for the viscosity is what they gave us the viscosity for methane is 0 0.013. The value for the viscosity for methane is 0 0.0112 for propane is 0 0.0098 now to find the viscosity of a gas mixture the formula for viscosity of a gas mixture let me just say the viscosity of the gas mixture, gas mixture will be the summation of the summation of of the mole fraction times the square root of of the molecular weight times the mole the viscosity divided by the summation of the mole fraction times the mole um, the molecular weight of each just like this one is each component the summation of the mole fraction of each component times the square root of the mole the molecular weight of each component times the viscosity of each component divided by the summation of the mole fraction that is the product of the mole fraction times the molecular weight 
jetzt auch das Stempel ist. So, irgendwelche Dies kann die Richtung aus. Genug die Discrepancy of each component. The summation of the product of each component times the move fraction times the square root of the molecular weight of each component divided by the summation of summation of the mole fraction times the square root of the molecular weight of each component. So this is the formula. So now we are going to now be able to now look at this pretty critically. We we are not going to multiply this, this, and this to get this whole thing. So we are going to get first we are going to multiply this and this to get this one down here, which is why. The, the move fraction component times the square root of the move fraction. So now we're going to multiply that. So now what we're going to get is we're going to see now 0 0.9 times 4 will give us what? Here yeah, will give us 3.6. Now, 0 0.08 times 5.48 will give us what? This will give us 0 0.4384. Now, if I now say 0 0.02 times 6.64 I will have here to be 0 0.1328 so now the summation of move fraction times the square root of molecular weight of each component will not be equal to now we just to add all this together I will add them together 0 0.1328 plus 0 0.4384 plus 3.6 so this will give us what this gives us 4.1712 now let's now go to this other side we now have to calculate we now have to multiply this one with this to get the whole of this. So now we now have viscosity times y times more that viscosity times more more fraction times the square root of each component will now give you this times x. So it's this times x we're going to do now. So now so, 0 0.013 times 3.6. So, here will give us what? 0 0.0468. Now, 0 0.0112 times 0. 4384. This will give us 0 0.0049. Now, 0 0.0098 times 0 0.1328. This will give us. 0 0.0013 so the summation of 
because P60 times the molecular, the mole fraction times the molecular weight, the square root of this molecular weight will give equal to what? Now let's add all this together. We now have 0 0.04. 68 plus 0 0.0049 plus 0 0.0013 so we have 0 0.0533 so now using this formula here now we have this as 0 0.0 Five three divide by this value here, which is four point one seven one two. So, so the viscosity of the gas mixture will not be will not be equal to zero point zero five three divide by four point one seven one two. So, to give us zero point. Zero one two seven one two seven. So that is the answer. Thank you for watching till the end. Have a nice day. Please do well to watch my channel and also.